What's up, Mitten Squad? My name is Paul, and welcome back to another Top 10 video. In this video, I'll be going over 10 things you didn't know about The Walking Dead. Number 10. As Rick wakes up from his coma, he looks at a clock, which reads 2.17, which is the same time seen on the clock when explosions are heard from the same room in the Season 1 episode TS-19. According to the first commentary track, 2.17 is a nod to Stephen King's The Shining. Another 2.17 reference is in the Season 1 finale, where Edwin Jenner says that Test Subject 19, where the finale gets its name from, resurrected after 2 hours, 1 minute, and 7 seconds. Number 9. In an online interview, Frank Darabont revealed that he had ideas for several self-contained episodes that wouldn't continue the main story. One of his ideas would have been the season 2 premiere. Instead of Carl getting shot and finding himself on Herschel's farm, the episode would have been a Black Hawk Down style episode showing what happened to the guy in the tank from the first episode of the series before he locked himself inside the tank. Number 8. Laurie Holden said Andrea wasn't originally going to die in the Season 3 finale, saying that Andrea was supposed to end up as the leader of Woodbury's people, filling the governor's boots, but it was changed three weeks before the shooting of the episode began. In one of her interviews, she says, quote, Everyone was shocked, but this is The Walking Dead, nothing is certain anymore, end quote. Number 7. The Bible passage that was highlighted and found by the governor in the Season 3 finale is John 5.29. Quote, and shall come forth that they have done good unto the resurrection of life, and that they have done evil unto the resurrection of damnation. End quote. In this chapter, Jesus heals a sick man and preaches about everlasting life, and that quote, the hour is coming and now is, when the dead shall hear the voice of the Son of God, and they that hear shall live. End quote. Number 6. As each season goes by, the Walking Dead logo in the title card decays a bit more. Here's what it looked like in Season 1, and here's what it looks like now during Season 6. Number 5. According to Talking Dead, the producers had planned for Morgan to come back in the second season. However, Lenny James was too busy to reprise his role as Morgan at the time. Number 4. The name Edwin Jenner, the doctor from the CDC in the first season, is a reference to Edward Jenner, who developed the smallpox vaccine. Number 3. Rick doesn't seem to be very religious. In the season 1 episode Days Gone By, he seems uninterested in praying before a meal with Morgan and Dwayne, but does anyways. In the first episode of season 2, What Lies Ahead, when Rick and Shane enter the church, he says that he's, quote, never been much of a believer, end quote. In the fourth episode of season 2, Cherokee Rose, when talking to Herschel, he says, quote, Last time I talked to God for a favor, my son got shot. I try not to mix it up with the Almighty anymore. Best we stay out of each other's way, end quote. In episode 7 of season 6, Heads Up, Rick tears down the prayer service notes that Father Gabriel puts up in Alexandria. Then again, Rick and Gabriel weren't exactly BFFs at the time, so it could have been out of disdain for Gabriel rather than the dislike of religion. Number 2. Several Easter eggs were confirmed during the Talking Dead segment of the Season 5 finale, entitled Conquer. The titles of the last five episodes of Season 5 were taken from a quote Dale said back in the fourth episode of Season 1, quote, I like what the father said to the son when he gave him a watch that had been handed down through generations. He said, I give you a mausoleum of all hope and desire which will fit your individual needs no better than it did mine and my father before me. I give it to you not that you may remember time, but that you may forget it for a moment now and then and not spend all your breath trying to conquer it. A nod to all five titles, the titles being Remember, Forget, Trying, Conquer. Number 1. In the Walking Dead universe, the walkers outnumber people 5,000 to 1. The United States has a population of 319 million people. That means that there are roughly 63,000 people left alive. Spread over 50 states, obviously this is just a guess as the amount of people per state wouldn't be the same. There'd be almost 1,300 people per state. For the rest of the world, which has 7.4 billion people, there's almost 1.5 million people left. Divided by continent, North America has 106,000 people living, South America has 77,000 people living, Europe has 149,000 people living, Asia has 880,000 people living, Africa has 220,000 people living, Australia has just 4,600, and if you consider Antarctica, there'd be one person alive, considering they have 1 to 5,000 people there at any given moment. Alright, that's going to do it for this top 10 video about The Walking Dead. If you enjoyed the video or learned anything, leave a like. Leave a dislike if you didn't enjoy the video or didn't learn anything. Also, leave a comment telling me what you thought of the video overall. I've never done a top 10 video about a show or a movie, and this is just uh, a little experiment to see how it goes. Let me know how it went. Follow me on Twitter at Mitten Squad. 
My name is Paul of Mitten Squad. Have a wonderful day.